Hey everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to part two of my Stardew Valley Let's Play. So it's part two, it's day two. We can, oh, okay, we can organize. Like, I didn't even know what that did, but it just organized it for me. So in the end of the last part, we figured out how to open the package from the mayor and it had some parsnip seeds in it so i think we are gonna plant these today and we also need to keep on introducing ourselves to some people but here we have this thing called getting started if you want to become a farmer you have to start with the basics use your hoe to till the soil then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop water every day until the crop is ready cultivate and harvest a parsnip so these take four days to um cultivate and things like that so these ones already seem to be growing and stuff um so let's grab these parsnips and we're gonna put all some here oh we have a lot of parsnips i think we're just gonna go for six right now um just because we don't need too many but oh okay just gonna do it there instead let's do that one and that one and that one and that one and that and that and that and that okay there we go so we got six parsnips on the go I'm not actually too sure what these ones are oh i shouldn't have probably done that um where is the water source on this thing i'm guessing we are gonna have to uh clear some stuff up still um so let's just clear up a little bit of our farm you know it's pretty early so um we've got time to clear up a couple of things let's grab the scythe again and uh here we go so there's a water source over here which is good grab that scythe get rid of those thank you get rid of that one and that one too may as well uh our pickaxe it's kind of like minecraft in the way that you can control it like you can scroll you can really do whatever you want which is quite good because i usually scroll but i haven't been in this uh so far but i probably will start now it's just that sometimes it does skip but there we go so we got to our pond oh no okay so you just left click and it fills it back up for you so that's good we cleared a path to our like water source which is always a good thing to do so now we have a steady water source and uh oh we have some mail really okay get rid of that hello there just got back from a fishing trip you should come down to the beach sometime i've got something for you willie <laughs> oh, I'm so mature. <laughs> but his name's Willie. Oh man. Very immature for my age, I swear. Why do I keep going to the bus stop? We don't need to go there. Let's head down to the beach then. I think that's like down on the map. Um let me whip out my map. Yeah, so the beach is down here. I'm guessing you go fishing off the jetty. And um Yeah, let's go down there then. So we need to walk past the mayor's um, thing. There's also the graveyard and the sewers, which we want to avoid sewers at all costs because gross. Um, maybe we'll be able to meet some more people as we're on our way here. Maybe not. <laughs> so there's the sewer and the graveyard and the mayor's house. So we go down here. Oh, we've met him. That's been some. I was gonna say, oh, a new person, but it was just. Ooh, this is loud. Hi there. Are you Willy? <laughs> I'm gonna giggle every time I say his name. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Can you give us a present? Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul, a solid- uh, I sold a lot of fish. Finally saved enough money to buy me a new rod. Do we get his old one? Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Of course. 
Yes, we got a fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole. How do we use it? There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this a kids rated game? I want a fish. Let me fish. Okay. Oh, okay. Nope. Does that not mean that we have the, the fish on the line? I don't know what it does. Bobbing along. <laughs> right, come on. Come on, fishies. Oh, oh, I missed it. Oh, okay, so the longer you hold it out for, the further it... No, maybe not. I was going to say the further it goes, but maybe not. So when we get an exclamation point, I'm guessing we have to reel it back up. Come on. Fishing is boring sometimes. <laughs> Did we get one? What? Oh no! What? Click to raise the bar. Okay, I had no idea what I was just doing. You probably saw that on my face. But we got a sunfish. Okay, I guess we'll go sell it just so I know what to do. I'm sure I'll get better at catching fish. Um, so that gave us 30 Gs, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, cool. Thanks, thanks Willy. Thanks for giving me your old fishing pole. That was good. Good of ya, you old chum. So, uh, Willie gave us a free thing, which is nice. Um, let's see what else we got going on around here. Oh, a clam. Clam shell. Oh, no, no. Ah, can we, like, break any of this? No. Our energy goes down pretty fast. Um, what's this? I want to put some stuff away. Um, why can't we put it over like here? What is this for? I thought that was going to be like, you don't have to have it on your hot bar. Can we actually put it anywhere? Because um, that would be quite good. Maybe we can... Oh, what's that? It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Who's this? Is this Elliot? Oh, hello there. Ah, the new farmer we've been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Elliot looks like a pirate, which I love. <laughs> hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. 300 pieces of wood? We have seven. <laughs> we have seven pieces of wood right now, so, uh... I think that might take a while. Sorry if the beach was really noisy, guys. I should uh, probably have turned my sound down a little bit. So that's the mayor's. Um, we already know that. Are there any other houses around here? Let's check out our map. Uh, the blacksmith, we've already met him. Uh, we've met Evelyn and Alex, I think. Um, how many people have we actually introduced ourselves to? Oh, we haven't met these ones down here. Jody, Kent, and Sam. We haven't met any of them, actually, I don't think. Right, let's go over this way, then. We met Sam, actually. We didn't... Did we meet Jody? I have no idea. Well, we're going... We're going down, down. Let's go. Meet some more people. Peoples. Whose is this? 
I think we've been in this one and this one, haven't we? Let's double check. But I think we have. Hey, Sam. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Thanks. Take it easy. Thanks, dude. I'm going to have to let you out, aren't I? You, you going to come out? Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to hit you. Just wanted to talk, really. But, uh, yeah, we def have we been in here, actually? Yeah, we have. But Sam wasn't in here last time. I'm guessing that's Sam's room. Sam's like the cool kid of the town. You can tell. He's like the cool kid. <gasps> oh, yeah, this is the ranch. Okay, cool. We met this woman, though, didn't we? Because she said she had livestock. Yeah, Leah. We have met her. Who else do we need to? So we've introduced ourselves to 21 out of 28. Um, oh, she's got some wood, though. Let's grab this real quick. Thanks, Leah. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your wood, girl. And this one. Cool. So yeah, she has her lively stuff. Can we buy anything? Can we buy a cow? I would really appreciate that. Um, she doesn't seem to be in here. I want to buy a cow. You're not good enough friends with Jazz. We haven't met Jazz. Nobody's in here though. Damn it. I want to make a, I want to have a cow. Stop having a cow, man. How do we get one? I literally haven't played uh, I'm guessing you guys know that I haven't played this game because I am a noob right now, like a pretty big noob. Um but this is the fun of let's plays, isn't it? Figuring it out together. Oh, who's this? Oh, we've already met you. Okay, we haven't been up here. I don't think. So maybe there'll be some interesting... We haven't met you. Hello there. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Haley. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Let me talk to you again. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. What a biatch. I am pretty. <gasps> At least that's what my mum says. Ooh, what's this? I feel bad breaking into here, but... Screw it. Whoa. Oh, it was all just fiber. Whose house is this? It looks abandoned. It's locked. Oh, we we came here last night actually, didn't we? Who's this? Have we met you? Have you met my mother? She's the town carpenter. No, we haven't. Where is the town carpenter at? Um. Oh, so this is the community center. Pierre's general store. I feel like we've met everyone. Museum and library. We haven't been there. We've been there. We've been there. We've been to Leah's cottage and Marnie's ranch. That's our farm. Um, carpenter shop. Okay. So we just got to keep heading up. Well, I shall go and meet your mother now. Oh, can we steal this? Can we like take this? No. <laughs> I was like, damn, we could probably take it, but we can't. That would be stealing, and that wouldn't be very good, would it? Wouldn't be at all. So I'm guessing this is the carpenter. Hello? Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello? I'd like to meet someone. Is anybody here? Nope. Okay. Well, that was a bust. Uh, Ma Maru's here. Oh! Same though. Same though. You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom. <gasps> Sebastian, are you coming out? Come say hey to me, Sebastian. Sebastian? Hello? Sebastian? <gasps> Get him! Get him! Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. 
cool story, bro. Out of all the places you could live, you choose Pelican Town? Pfft. He clearly doesn't like Pelican Town. <laughs> Bless him. Okay, so, uh... Okay, we've not met you. Hello? Greetings! I am Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome. I guess. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met the do my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. I have met Maru, actually. I have um, met her. I have come across little Maru. Oh, oh, is that a water source? No, I just watered it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Oh, hello. <gasps> hello there, a stranger. Hello. <laughs> Hi, don't mind me. I just live out here all alone. Aw, dude, I want to I wanna know you. Aw, bless him. Right, how many have we... 25 out of 28. How many damn people are in this town? Where are they all? Can't find any of them. Can I? Three more people to meet. This is where it starts getting difficult. Because I can't find them. We've almost wasted another day. Well, not really wasted, I guess. We have introduced ourselves to people. Oh, where are we now? Where are we? I almost just started singing Justin Bieber right there. <laughs> really though, where are we? What is this place? I don't like it. Hello? It's like a demolished house. There's a lot of resources around here though. But I have no clue where we are. Let's check on our map. Oh, this is like the other end of our farm. I'm like here like, where the hell are we? We're like right next to our farm. It is like 8 p.m. almost though, so we should probably head to sleep soon. I just thought I was like stealing someone's um, like all that good stuff, but apparently it's our farm, so. You know, I'm just stealing my own stuff. <laughs> we should probably spend a day, like, actually, uh, doing all of this fun stuff, but it might take a while, so. I might do it off screen, actually. Because this is just gonna take forever. Our energy is getting quite low, and it's almost half nine, so I'm gonna send her to sleep, but. Considering this has been quite short, I will be back with you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We are back and it's Wednesday the 3rd. It's the third day. And I just figured out that if you head on over to crafting here, you can make a chest and it's a place to store your items. But I need 50 wood for it. It also sounds like it's raining currently, so that's not a great sign. But I think I'm gonna just collect some wood off screen to make a chest just so I don't have to carry everything around with me. And I will be back with you guys after I have done that. Okay guys, so I actually have a enough wood now to make a chest, which means that I can start putting stuff away and things like that, which is quite good. So I'm gonna make this, I think. And then I think we're gonna have to try and introduce ourselves again to uh, some more people, but um, do our plants need watering if uh, it's raining? I doubt they do because, you know, I'm fairly sure the rain probably takes care of that. Um, but let's head inside and we are going to go back into crafting and then we, uh, okay, so we click chest. Oh, okay. Um, Uh, let's get rid of the clam. I don't really know if we need those or not. Um, okay, so can we just put these inside the chest? Uh, how do we put this chest down? Oh, okay, so we literally just like plop it wherever we want to plop it. Um, can I put you down like over here? Okay, there we go. And then we just... There we go! So we got it. We're gonna put our parsnip seeds in. We're gonna put our stones and our fiber and our clay. We're gonna keep all our tools out. Just because we'll always need our tools. Our wood, um, 
that can stay out actually. I'll keep my stone as well. Um, a common material with many uses in crafting and building. Okay, so uh, let's quickly check out what else we can craft. Um, oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, where is crafting? So we can make a gate um, and a wooden fence. We can make a wood path, which is a decor item or a gravel path or a cobblestone path, um, which will be quite nice. And oh, we can make a campfire. Provides a moderate amount of light. So we could just make that for outside. But I think we're gonna try and introduce ourselves to three more people if we can. Um, oh, we also have mail as well, so we need to check that out. This is an advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does it sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Oh. Okay, so we can get a backpack as well. Let's go to Pierre's then. Let's um try and check out what stock Pierre has in currently. Um... I completely forgot where Pierre's is. It is going to take me a while to get used to the map, but hopefully hopefully we'll get there in the end. Um, okay, so Pierre's is just over here, which is quite easy to remember. Oh, it's closed on Wednesdays. Well, why would you advertise for a Wednesday, Pierre? That makes no sense. You advertised false advertisement. I'm going to sue you for 500G. <laughs> okay. So this is the market, um, okay, I think we've met her. Times have been tough lately, I got laid off my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. So we need to try and help Pam get her job back. I'm sure we could try and do that. Um, who's this guy? Let's go talk to him. Shane's hard at work, he doesn't seem interested in talking. Well, sorry Shane. Now I see why Shane's so stuck up. Because he, uh... Welcome to the Joja market. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja customer satisfaction representative. When you decide what you want, uh, when you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help you make your transition a joyous experience. I don't like this place. Uh, we can buy some cola, wallpaper, parsnip seeds, bean starter, cauliflower seeds, potato seeds, tulip bulb, jazz seeds. So there's a whole, we can go for kale. We can go all out like California health madness. Oh, um, we're going to go for one potato seed, I guess. Let's do that. We're just carrying it on our head as you do, as you do. Okay, so there wasn't really anyone in there, but, oh, he didn't even count as a person. Ooh, okay, well, let's see if we can meet any more then, because he apparently didn't count. This is the blacksmiths. We haven't been there. That's the library, I think. Let's quickly try and go to the library, because we've already met the blacksmith, but we haven't met a librarian or anything. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeology archaeological office uh this is embarrassing but the previous creator made off with the entire collection we don't have any artifacts for our display but i'm hoping to remedy that that soon hey if you find any artifacts or minerals out there would you let me know sure i can i can do that um again he wasn't a person we could introduce ourselves to so is anybody here because if not, we're really bad at these introductions. Literally no one. Nobody is around. The town doesn't want to speak to me, guys. This is bad. When no one wants to speak to the new person. <laughs> this is like high school all over again. <laughs> uh, actually, I didn't, I didn't have a bad secondary school experience. It was actually quite nice. Quite enjoyed school. Not going to lie. But I feel like... This is Lewis's, right? Yeah. No one's in. There's Lewis. Hi, dude. Can we catch up? So how was your first night in the old cottage? It was all right. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. It's it's a cute house, not gonna lie. It's quite cute. Um, who's this guy? Oh, Alex. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. 
<gasps> Rude! I'm fine just watching you from a distance. I want to play catch with you. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, never mind. Yeah, you better. You better take them. <laughs> I just, I just poured water all over him. Um. <laughs> Man, what was that meant to mean? Just because I'm a girl, I can't play catch? I'll have you know, I was on the rounders team. I was pretty good at catch. Not gonna lie. We've met everyone, but I guess we can speak to them again. This morning, I accidentally stepped on a bug. <gasps> Leah, how mean of you. She's totally got the same outfit on as us. I keep, like, watering everywhere. Hey, kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. Have we met you? Is this Shane? Or whatever he's called. The really snarky one. Oh, there's the doctor. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Thanks, doc. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested. He's definitely not hard at work anymore. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Shane! Stop playing hard to get. I know you want me. Willie! Oh, who are you there? It's nice to see you young folk moving into a valley. It's not very common these days. Willie, my main, my main man is Sebastian. What am I going to do today? I don't know, Sebastian. What are you going to do? Probably nothing. <laughs> same though. Me and Sebastian on the same level right now. <laughs> <gasps> Love him! So on the same level as Sebastian. He's my kind of guy. Maybe I'll marry Sebastian. I guess we could check who we've met. Uh, so if we go on to social. Oh, and it tells you who's single as well. Um, I don't know what these actually mean. Sam is single, um, which is nice to know. Sebastian, my bae, he's also single. Mario is single. Alex is single. I'm guessing... Emily and Pam are not single then, if it says not, um, Shane apparently isn't single. How? How is Shane not single? Uh, Leah's single, Harvey's single, Penny's single, Haley's single, Lewis, Willie aren't, um, Elliot is single, Linus isn't, Demetrius isn't, Evelyn isn't, Vincent, Jody, Clint, Pierre, Caroline, Gus, Marnie. We need to meet this dude and this pale pale face one and this one and this one we need to meet four new people and i don't know where they're hiding well that purple haired one she was like moping around in her bedroom wasn't she but i can't remember in which house oh there's Haley, the biatch <laughs> i spent all morning doing my hair and now the rain can mess it up oh well boo hoo for you life is hard sometimes She's such a little princess. You're not good enough friends with Haley to enter. I kind of want to be her friend though, just to prove her wrong. I'll be like, see, I can be cool. I can be cool. Um, who lives here? Emily. Okay. Mm, I want to meet the new people, but I don't know where they are. It's like 7.30 p.m. too. Just nobody wants to meet me, do they? Um, Sam's in his room. Where did that other girl live? Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. <laughs> Jodie is my mum, but you're always welcome in here. <laughs> Aww, she's like mother of the town, I think. She's really, really cute. I love her. Right, where do these other people live? Because I have no idea. Um, right, we've been to the library, we've been there. We've not been to the trailer. Oh, okay. So there's a trailer, which um, could definitely be something to look into. Um, Robin, Demetrius, Sebastian, and Maru. And we haven't been up there. Okay, so I think we'll go check out this trailer because we haven't met anyone that lives in a trailer just yet. So, um... Let's head back over to the saloon way. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, that's the blacksmith. Um, so where's... Ah, here's the trailer. It's locked. Open 9 till 8. Oh, darn it. We missed our chance to get in there. Who lives here? 8 till 8. Hmm. 
Right, let's go and try and visit someone else's house. We haven't been to that one right at the top of the map. So let's quickly see if there's any way of getting up there. I don't think there is, though. Let me go back on the map. Right, so if we go up here to the carpenter's shop. It's really dark. It's 9pm. I should definitely be asleep considering I'm a farmer and I get up quite early. Um, should definitely be asleep right now, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, I think, no, nope, the carpenter's not up there. Where is it? Mm. Let's go up here. Is this the carpenter's? Every Everywhere's closed. But I think that's the actual shop, whereas this is their house. Oh, everyone locks their house really... Well, not early. It's, it is like 9pm. We've been there. What's over here? Oh, this is background, isn't it? Alright, guys. Okay, after that noise, I am definitely going to end this part here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this second part. Hopefully, we will be able to introduce ourselves to those people. I might do it off screen um, just because I think it might be easier to do. But our parsnips should be ready by tomorrow. And hopefully, it's not raining in the next part because... Nobody likes the rain, especially not me, because I have it every day living in England. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see. Um, we won't start on the romancing just yet. It's a little bit early on for that, but we are definitely trying to get to know people and become friends with them. I feel as if the... What's his name? Uh... Alex, I feel as if he maybe doesn't like us after we got angry with him, but I'm sure he'll get over it. We poured some water on him to cool him off. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye, guys!